Scroll Staff Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Sexual Harassment by Scroll Staff All the women who have accused United States President Donald Trump are lying. The Guardian quoted White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders pictured above as saying on Friday. When asked by a reporter from CBS News if the official White House position was that the 16 women who have accused Trump are lying, Sanders said yeah, we have been clear on that since the beginning, and the president has spoken on it. She refused to comment further. Trump had earlier referred to the cases as fake news and has not faced any action in connection with the sexual harassment allegations. Before the 2016 presidential election, a tape was leaked in which he had boasted about touching women without their consent. The allegations against the U.S. president have come into focus again in recent days following widespread allegations of sexual harassment against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. We welcome your comments at letters at scroll.in. White House Donald Trump sexual harassment sponsored content by share tweet email reddit print share tweet email reddit print in the summer of 2008, the Arashi Hamraj double murder case sent shockwaves across the country. The case involved a handful of suspects and the initial stories that linked each suspect with the murder were as convincing as the next. However, the media frenzy that followed eventually made it difficult to differentiate between the investigation findings and mere speculation. Meanwhile, the investigation of the case became increasingly difficult with conflicting findings and pieces of evidence. The prime suspects from the start of the investigation were Arish's parents Nooper and Rajesh Talwar. Once the state government handed over the case to the CBI, however, several other associates of Arish's parents were arrested and had to undergo lie detector and narcoanalysis tests. The next turning point in the case came when in 2013, the CBI trial court stated that Arish's parents were guilty of both the murders beyond reasonable doubt. Investigators alleged that her parents killed Arish in a fit of rage when they found her with Hemraj, their domestic servant, in an objectionable situation. Facing a life sentence and a possible death penalty, the couple began their time in Dasna jail. As the interest in the case in the media and public was dwindling, another crucial moment arrived on 12 October 2017. The Allahabad High Court acquitted the Talwars in the 2008 murders. The court claimed that the chain of evidence presented was inconclusive, noting that all circumstantial evidence did not tally to prove the couple guilty. Thus, after nearly 10 years and the involvement of various investigating agencies, the RFC Hemraj case, to this day, remains unsolved. In an exclusive interview with Hot Star, the recently released couple, Nooper and Rajesh Talwar, open up about their time in jail, the moment their appeal was accepted and their supporters who stood by them. Teary-eyed yet firm, the couple speak about coping with the loss of their daughter, the challenge of integrating back into the society that lies ahead of them and why the murder remains unsolved. The entire interview can be seen here. For more such exclusive content, log on to Hotstar, India's largest premium streaming platform with more than 1 hours of drama and movies in nine languages and coverage of every major global sporting event. The Hotstar premium service showcases the best TV shows, movies and sporting events from around the world, including Emmy award-winning shows such as Veep, Game of Thrones and Silicon Valley. To sign up for Hotstar premium, click here. This article was provided by the Squirrel marketing team on behalf of Hotstar and not by the Squirrel editorial team.